All right, let's go ahead and take this call. Caller, welcome to the show. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, this is Matt from Knoxville, Tennessee. Matt from Knoxville, Tennessee. I used to be a neighbor of yours. The doctrine of uh, depravity that Christians use. I think they quote Jeremiah seventeen nine. I think where it talks about uh, the heart is evil. Who can know it? I'd like to see you know what's Judaism's point on that uh, verse. Jeremiah seventeen nine. Nine. The heart is evil. What do we say about that? And how does Judaism view that? And how does that? How does Christianity apply that? In your opinion, Jeremiah it tells us that the heart is a is a wicked thing. Uh, Jeremiah is echoing what we find in the book of Numbers. The Torah already has warned us. Lysasuru, it's Numbers chapter 15, verse 39. Lysasuru, you shall not go after your heart and your eyes because they will lead you astray. That means a person, that's why a, a man wears tefillin. He binds his heart to his mind. But if a person goes after his lusts and desires, so it will lead a person away from God. Look, we're, we're not monolithic. We're made up of two things. We are not just uh, forged from the breath of God that he breathed into our first father's nostrils. We are also made of the clay of the earth. We're tension. That's why God said in Genesis 1, 26, let us make man. What he was doing, he was bringing it all forth. That means man is the only creature in the universe that is made up of both a, an animal heart that desires what we see. We're made out of the same material that dogs and cats are made out of. We know that. We want... You know, we, we get what the dogs want. They want, uh, they want the steak on the table. They, uh, they want to have babies. They want a warm, safe place. They want to be tough. We get all that. But what the dog doesn't have is it's not created in the image of God. We are. We have a, a, there has never been an animal that has ever believed in God. It's not wired for that. It can't. So the Torah is telling us, look, we have two parts to us. We have one part to us, which is our heart, our emotions, our eyes. This is the part that's wicked, that's self-serving. But then we have the higher part. And the key is, the, the key for every child of God is to, is to connect heaven and earth. And that's why the most ecstatic dream ever experienced by any prophet in the entire Tanakh was Jacob, our father of blessed memory, who saw the ladder that connected heaven and earth, and God was on the top. And the key of what a Jew seeks to do and inspired the world to do is not to live separate from this world, but rather to take the physical world, take a piece of meat, a steak, a good a glass of wine, but make a blessing over it and make sure you're permitted to eat it and make sure it belongs to you and recognize that it comes from God. So Jeremiah is telling us precisely what the Torah tells us already. The Torah says, what? That they will lead you astray. So, of course it will. So, your heart, meaning your emotions, your eyes, all these things are pulling in one direction. If you follow it, you're going to get yourself in an enormous amount of trouble. But rather, you should follow the Spirit of Hashem. אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא ואת נעשה בחפצו כל אזי מלך, אזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי כפלות הכל לבדו, אם לא כנועה, והוא היה, והוא עובד